hypothesis testing, distribution-free tests, the paired sample sign test. The marks obtained in both the mock exam and the A-level exam by a random sample of 13 students are shown below. These are paired values. Student number two, that's the mock exam mark and the A-level mark for student number two. So these data values are in pairs. We're using a 5% significance level and we want to test to see if the students performed better in the A-level than the mock. If the students performed equally well in both the mock and the A-level, then what you'll find is that the median mark for the mock and the median mark for the A-level will be the same. So the difference between the medians will be zero. If the students performed better in the A-level, so the median a-level mark is higher than the median mock. Then if you subtract the medians, so if you do A-level minus mock, you'll get a positive value because the A-level median is higher than the mock median. H0, the population median difference equals zero. So that's where that zero comes from. If we're saying that the medians for both the mock and the A-level are the same, when you work out the difference between them, it'll be zero. And H1, the population median difference, is greater than zero. Starting with the A-level, subtract the mock exam mark. So first candidate, A-level 45, mock 40. The A-level is higher than the mock, give it a plus. Candidate number two. A-level 68, mock 65, again the students perform better in the A-level, give that a plus. Candidate 3, A-level 47, mock 53, the A-level's lower this time, give it a minus, and so on. If you found any of these values were exactly the same, so you had the same mock, same A-level, you can cross off that particular student and pretend that student does not even exist in your data. OK, now summarise this data. So count the number of plus signs and the number of minus signs. And the lower of these two will become the test statistic. The n value in the binomial distribution will be the sum of these two. 13, the test statistic is the lower of these two which is 3, so the binomial distribution will have 13 trials. This is still 0 0.5, it's always 0 0.5. Based on that 13 there, write down the values that x can take. And now we go to the binomial tables, where n is 13. Here. p will be 0 0.5, so that's the last column, it's always the last column. The significance level is 5%, so any probability here that's below 5%, so below 0 0.05, that means the x value next to it will be in the critical range. So that's below 0 0.05, so is this, so is this, so is this, but from here downwards they're not. So these are all below 5% or 0 0.05. So these x values here, 0, 1, 2, and 3, are all in the critical region. Critical region reject H0. 3 is the critical value. It's where the critical region starts from which means the values from 4 to 13, these are all in the acceptance region. This is only ever done in terms of H0. Okay, reject H0 or accept H0, that's the common practice. The test statistic is 3.
clearly that's in the rejection region. So the conclusion is reject H0. There is significant evidence candidates did better in the A level than the mock. What error could you have made? A type 1 error, because the conclusion is reject H0. So this test is very similar to the single sample sign test, except when you do the plus and minus signs, you do that in pairs. You compare these in paired um, uh, and parts, instead of going back to the H0 value and comparing it to that like you did in the single sample test.